people you must remain motivated in the accountability procedure that you put yourself through as you self-govern yourself and you watch yourself, all right? You must be so alert and intelligent to take yourself very seriously. You may give yourself to people. People will take what you have and they may give you what they have. Some people that you may meet, you may give them what you have. They give you a little bit of what they have and you give them more and they reject you and betray you and leave you. They expect for you to be tougher. They take your kindness for weakness. Being self-protected means that you know exactly what you are, where you're at, and who you are. You know exactly this, that you are at the right time, at the right place, for the right purpose, for who and what you are, and all that you are becoming, even though it might take you the next 20 years. When people betray you, it's because they may see something inside you that reminds them of their self, so they run the other way. They become strengthened if they have people in their corner with them. Usually they'll say things like, you don't have my back. And then they'll go to somebody else that has their back. I never liked that terminology, have your back. It's like us against them. It's like we are the winners, they're the enemies. Have your back. Even to the degree of lying to have somebody's back seems so wrong. Rather, I say, be in the corner with them, okay? Right now, during our pandemic, a lot of people are so mean. They've turned toward hostility toward themselves, and they don't like themselves because they're doing a lot of drinking. And a lot of that drinking is not good. It's actually a distraction. The drinking has to end. The crystal meth has to end. If you need to get your medical card to smoke medicinal cannabis, do it. If it means saving yourself from hard control substance. This is the best time right now in our life to be emotionally sober and not be spiritually constipated. And to have a pregnant pause. To pause right now and not think about what you want. But think about what you've been given. This brought you to a dream of something more that you want. Just stop with more and work on right now, seeing that you've been given everything. And when people come along and they're negative, you can be there for them. You don't have to reject them because you actually care. People have heartbreak. They're developmentally delayed. They can't be quiet because they feel disadvantaged. They've lost social support because of the pandemic. And things can trigger them to suicide, to alienation, 
to feeling hopeless because of burdensomeness, feeling like you're everybody's burden. With that being stated with deep, deep emotion, let's take psychologically ourselves health really well. And that's your mental health, your mind, your mind. Please be the social support for people that they need. Please be the family that people need. Please be very loving. Please, during the pandemic. You know, we really need your cooperation, don't you think? Be encouraged right now. You will be okay if you do good. Do good. Believe good, even if your heart is broken. Just up-level yourself all the time and your mind and be full of love, unconditional love. And forgive people and reconcile with people and make your amends. And Apologize to people if you've done wrong and if you've hurt them. You do the right thing, and the right things come your way. Please don't betray people, but love people and be there for people when other people have betrayed them. Be the friend of the friendless. And be in the corner with people. Please. The world is suffering because of alienation and suicidal thoughts. Bring only love. Only love. <sighs> 